Beamish is a living museum of the North made by a man called Frank Atkinson. This museum is a reproduction of the past of each period, especially in the late Victorian and Edwardian industrial era in northeastern England. There are four to five courses and you can use the 1950s bus to move around. Things like bakeries, sweet shops, hospitals and churches in the same old form are placed. What's special about this place is that some buildings have moved in as they were elsewhere. It is said that the bricks were separated one by one and reconstructed. The bakery features working ovens that produce food for sale to visitors. This is the sweet shop and to the front of the ground floor is a shop where traditional sweets and chocolate are sold to visitors. In this two-story building of the department store, the ground floor comprises three departments grocery, drapery, and hardware. The weather was a bit cold, but it felt like it suited the museum scenery. The school opened in 1992 and represents the typical board school in the educational system of the era. It was a place where you could go in and sit down in person. Various props are on display, and it was interesting. The main building is split into three classrooms, connected by a corridor along the rear. To the rear is a red brick bike shed, and in the playground, visitors can play traditional games of the era. Davies Fried Fish and Chip Potato Restaurant represents the typical style of shop found in the era, as they were becoming rapidly popular in the region. We had lunch in this place, and it was really good. Next is the tea room. The weather was a bit cold on this day, so we wanted to heat our body with some drinks. I had hot chocolate and it was nice. When we came out, it became dark and the lights were on. The concept of the museum is clear, so it feels like I'm traveling in the past. It is said that the museum has received many awards since it opened to visitors in 1972 and has influenced other living museums. After spending a day in this place, I was able to fully understand why this place was called a living museum. The day I visited this place was near Christmas, so there were many Christmas markets that sold Christmassy ornaments and a big Christmas tree. The employees who work here were wearing costumes suitable for their era, which was interesting. And there was a big souvenir shop that we visited before leaving too. Beamish was an unfamiliar name that I never heard of before, but after visiting Beamish, I realized that this is a wonderful UK attraction to visit.